All right. Uh, let's do a few more conversions. Uh, we're in the American measurement system. We're looking at sort of uh, distance or length measurements. So let's convert 45 yards into inches. Um, this is one we can set up a couple different ways. We have, as far as our sort of rates here, we know that there are 36 inches per every one yard. Uh, or we can actually do kind of a combination setup where we know there's 12 inches for every foot and there are three feet for every yard. I'll actually kind of show maybe two of the versions of this here. Um, probably the more obvious one, the kind of one step version would be this. So 45 yards, we'll write as 45 yards over one and as always here, make sure you're writing it with the units. Uh, you know, having the units here sort of keeps everything organized and obviously sort of tells you where everything needs to go. That's what being organized means. Um, what we're going to do, right, is again, look for our kind of goal units. So we're trying to end up in inches. So I'm going to multiply and set up my fraction such that I have inches on top and I'm trying to cancel these yards away. So I'm going to match the yards up top with yards on the bottom. My numbers here, right, are just going to be 36 and then 1. Um, this is going to just be another kind of multiplication one. It's going to look uh, pretty similar in, in its kind of format to the, the first example we did where we were going inches to feet. In general, if you're in a smaller, uh, or no, I'm sorry, did I say that backwards? Where we went from feet into inches. So in general, right, if you're going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, you're going to get more stuff, right? If you're measuring now with a smaller and a smaller value, you just get more things, right? Uh, something like 10 feet is going to be 120 inches as an example. And so this is what's happening here. And that can kind of help, you know, having that in mind can kind of help to make it clear uh, about, you know, are we gonna end up with a multiplication problem, which we have here, or maybe more of a division problem. So in this case, right, this is, uh, you know, ends up being a 45 times 36. Gosh, what the heck is that gonna be? 45 times two would be 90. Uh, so this would be kind of like 90 times 18. Uh, I think it's kind of, this is one. I'm just going to cheat for a second and just for the sake of this video and trying to speed things up, I'll just do a quick little calculation here, just kind of off to the side. This is going to end up at 1620 inches. So, you know, what starts to happen here is you can sort of see something like 45 yards. 45 is, you know, not a, a particularly large number. But if we convert it into a, a smaller unit, right, where it's sort of a 36 to 1 kind of rate, you get now, you know, up into the thousands in terms of how many inches we've got. Uh, an alternate version of this. You can actually set this up as a, as a double conversion. And so you can go... 45 yards over one, what you can do is you can use these two conversions. So you can actually kind of set it up where you go from yards to feet as kind of an in-between, right? So we know that there are uh, three feet for every one yard. So if you multiply that Yards would cancel, yards would cancel, and you'd have 45 times three would be, uh, gosh, 90, you know, 135 feet. And then what you would do is sort of a step two is you need to get from feet to inches, right? So this would be kind of yards to feet to inches. And so now you'd say, so feet is here. I got to match it and I want to end up in inches, right? 12 inches for every one foot. It, you know, I don't know that that's any better or any worse. It just is different, right? It kind of breaks up what we're doing a little bit here. Yards cancel, right? Feet cancel feet. This is all just one. So this becomes kind of 45 
times three times 12 inches. You know, that obviously is gonna be the same thing as, as 45 times 36, right? 105 times 12 would kind of get us there. Um, and so in theory, this is still just gonna be 1620. So we're still ending up in the same spot. It's just a little bit of a different way to get there. Um, let's go one in the other direction. So that was kind of converting from larger units, sort of feet and yards into, into inches into a smaller unit. What if we sort of ran this the other way instead? Let's do like 108 inches converted into feet. Um, so we kind of know the rates, right? We know it's 12 inches for every one foot. And so what will happen now, we're gonna sort of start this the same way we did all the others. So 108 inches over one times. And so now I need to sort of flip the, the fraction that I'm multiplying by. So I'm trying to get feet on top and then inches I need to sort of cancel out. So I need to match this sort of inches here with inches on the bottom. And my rate is gonna be one foot for every 12 inches. And so what happens now is rather than being a multiplication problem, this one really turns into a division problem. Uh, and all of that is just sort of based on the way that the units play out and the sort of way we're forced to sort of write these rates and these fractions. It's not, you know, any better or any worse, right? So this is essentially 108 over 12 feet, and then we just need to kind of look to reduce this. Um, is that gonna go evenly, six? What is this? This would be two times six. Maybe we'll just do these by twos or something instead. So this would be like, uh, you know, 54 over six, oh yeah, sure, and then that's gonna go right, because that would be nine, right? Six goes in there nine times. So I guess 12 goes into 108 evenly. Uh, oh, that makes sense, right? Because times 10 would be 120, minus 12 would be our, our 108. So this is gonna be nine feet. So in this way, moving from kind of a smaller unit up into a bigger unit, inches in this case to feet, rather than really kind of multiplying it, in some sense it looks like what you're doing is division. And that's true. You can honestly sort of do these unit conversions where you're either just sort of multiplying or dividing by whatever your sort of like rate value is. Um, I, I kind of honestly like setting them up as these proportions and doing it this way. I like sort of seeing the layout and uh, it takes away some of the guesswork a little bit. Uh, I, I find sometimes if you're trying to say, okay, I need to get bigger, so I need to divide, <laughs> right? Or it's like, I want a bigger unit, but that means I'm gonna get less stuff. It can be a little confusing to sort of keep straight all of the different movements because you kind of have things getting bigger and getting smaller um, in different places in, in, in different situations. Even me trying to explain it is confusing. Um, so I kind of like these proportions. I like the way that they sort of set up and you kind of always do it the same way and, um, uh, and everything there is pretty consistent. Let's do one last one with miles. Let's do like a quarter mile. Uh, let's convert it into feet. Uh, we know our conversion rate here. And again, you sort of start to see all of the numbers here. They're, they're just all kind of awkward, right? 5280 feet per mile. Um, so we've got to work with this 5280. That's you know, maybe the worst number that we've had yet. Um, what could we do? So one quarter mile, right? I mean, that would obviously sort of be, you know, one, one quarter mile over one. Um, or maybe a more obvious way to write it would be you could actually split it up and kind of write it as one mile over four. That totally works and it's legitimate. You're, you're just sort of keeping the units attached to the top. You know, a quarter mile would be one mile divided by four it, mathematically, right? That's, that's consistent and totally fine. I think it just makes this process a little bit easier and the, the setup a little easier. And so what am I trying to convert miles into feet? So feet up top, miles on the bottom, so that miles will cancel miles. And my rate here is one mile for every 5280 feet. 
And so you can kind of tell, right, what's going to happen here. It's really just 5280 divided by four, right, feet. Um, gosh, what's that going to be? That's another one I'll just sort of take a second and punch into my guy over here. There's also, if we could do by hand, I'm just trying to clean it up and simplify it a little bit. 5280, divide by 4, 1320. That makes sense, right? If I divided it by 2, it would be 2640, and then divide by 2 again, right? 1320. So 1,320 feet. Um, Obviously, you know, you can do all sorts of variations here, right? There are a number of, of conversions we didn't do specifically, <clears throat> but we're really just going to be repeating ourselves after, after, after a while. I think we got it. Um, that's our length units for the American system. Um, we're going to do another video after this that uses some of these same units to do uh, area conversions is kind of an extension. So, so the area... Conversions will come up next, and then we'll go from there.